Why did the Messiah have to suffer? The day in which Jesus rose from death back to life, he appeared to eyewitnesses and chided them. O oh, foolish ones, and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Was it not necessary that the Messiah should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Now, we know that the prophets had predicted that the Messiah would suffer, and that he did in fact suffer scourging and crucifixion. We even know what he accomplished by suffering, redeeming us human beings from death and hell. Yet, why did the Messiah have to suffer? Since he was God incarnate in human flesh, could he not have saved us in some other way? Maybe just forgive us without anyone suffering? After all, God can forgive whomever he chooses, can he not? Seven Reasons for the Messiah's Suffering and Death 1. Because all humans suffer, the Messiah too, being human, had to suffer. It was fitting that he, for whom and by whom all things exist, in bringing many sons to glory, should make the founder of their salvation perfect through suffering. 2. The Messiah was setting an example for us to follow. Let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame. 3. The previous prophets had foreseen that the Messiah would suffer. What God foretold by the mouth of all the prophets, that his Christ would suffer, he thus fulfilled. Repent therefore, and turn back, that your sins may be blotted out. 4. Having come into the world in complete submission to God, the Messiah had to learn obedience. Although he was a son, he learned obedience through what he suffered. And being made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation to all who obey him. 5. Because the Messiah has suffered, he is now able to help us who suffer as he did. He had to be made like his brothers in every respect, to make propitiation for the sins of the people. For because he himself has suffered when tempted, he is able to help those who are being tempted. 6. The Messiah had to suffer death in order to gain victory over death. Since therefore the children share in flesh and blood, he himself likewise partook of the same things, that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is, the devil, and deliver all those who through fear of death were subject to lifelong slavery. 7. The Messiah came to satisfy the justice of God, who punishes sin before he can forgive sinners. This was to show God's righteousness, because in his divine forbearance he had passed over former sins. It was to show his righteousness at the present time, so that he might be just, and the justifier of the one who has faith in Jesus. Conclusion Jesus Christ, God's Messiah, had to suffer in order to become a suitable sacrifice for sins, so that God, who is just, may forgive the sins of us human beings who deserve to suffer. Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring us to God.